The most common reason we do surgery at Boston Children's Hospital for scoliosis is a curve we think that over time is going to get worse. So this is a standard spine model and you can see the curve in the back. Having a curve per se isn't always a problem. The problems develop if you have a large enough curve by the time you're done growing. So the children that we're operating on have large curves that we know that over time are going to progress into adulthood and lead to deformity, pain, pulmonary function problems. Here's a spine model. Uh, which is a representation of what's usually done in the operating room. So this is a back part of the spine model. Obviously this model has now rods and screws in it. All spinal instrumentation in general now is titanium or cobalt chrome, so compatible with MRIs. There's no rejection of the body of titanium or uh, cobalt chrome instrumentation. Um, so you can see here, these are the different vertebra that we're fusing to make them grow together. Um, this is what the spinal instrumentation looked like. These are called pedicle screws. These individual screws which go into the bone uh, around the spinal cord on each side. Um, so in this model, you can see there's two rods, which is pretty standard. So most posterior spinal fusions, you put in multiple screws throughout the region of the spine that you're correcting. And then you use a straight rod and correct by capturing each of these screws over to the rod, which then brings the spine over to the rod. So if you have a spine affixed to a straight rod, it should be pretty straight. Uh, each level of the spine we operate on has specific joints that we use to take those joints out. That helps with both the fusion part of the operation, which is making the bones grow together, as well as curve correction. If your spine is curved on this model, the goal is for us to make it straight. And once it's straight, we also need to hold it still until the bones grow together. So that's why we use spinal instrumentation.